Today on another edition of Untold Fair Stories, we got my man, no other than P.O.P. Yes, 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 yes. This is one of the good gentlemen that I, you know, previously grew up with, Cuzzo, family, and I got my other host, my cousin, Big TT, a.k.a. Treacy. Yes, he's in the with us. For those who don't know who P.O.P. is, tell them who you are and where you from, P.O.P. Well, you know, I'm Pop from Queens, but I've been living in Brooklyn since the 80s. I ain't gonna tell you my age, but, um, you know, in pink houses, that's where I really grew up at, but, you know, I'm still from Queens, born and raised, man. A lot of people get you confused from Pop from the Barbershop and P.O.P. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fact. We all know Pop from the Barbershop is a black, crusty-ass motherfucker. That's my guy, that's my partner. Pop, Pop is that's doing sweat. <laughs> yeah, from the barber shop. Yeah, that's a good dude. Always man. in the gambling spot. He's in um, PA doing very well for himself. I'm proud of him. He's doing his thing. He's in the industry, promoting parties, whatever, whatever. That's but today right. it ain't about him. It's about my man POP. That's right. One of the guys that uh one of the co-founders for um, as you can see, Project He. I'm the uh, I'm the I'm the creator. The creator. Excuse and me. Co-writer. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? And the main actor, you know. Okay. Okay, okay. So, you know, the list goes on, man, you know. But let me ask you a question. Ain't no ain't, ain't, you ain't dying no time soon, right? This shit like some lethal weapon shit you got going on. <laughs> you are like on number <laughs> that 18 stupid and shit. Like, what the fuck going on, champ? Like, Yo, when you gonna leave the show like 50 left uh, uh his project? See, yeah, I ain't on 50 level right now, you know. You is. Saying? You just don't know that, man. You know what? You speak that into existence. That's right. I am on that nigga level. You fuck you talking saying? about, man? But like, um you ain't you no disrespect 50 we love you, boo boo. You know you're a good nigga <laughs> with the Andrew Jackson together. It's your boy beloved, you know who the fuck I am. <laughs> but um P.O.P., he's making a lot of noise out here in these five fucking boroughs. We ain't even gonna count the other states. Nah, we ain't. But right now, we in New York City. That's a fact. That's so a fact. people want to know, like, growing up in Brooklyn and in Queens, mm -hmm. what was it like as far as your childhood? Like, what were some of the things that you, you grew up around, like some of the, the gangster niggas and, you know, that, uh -huh. that inspired you not to go right? Because you went left, obviously. I went left, you know, and let me just tell you one thing. One of my brothers named Bourne, he was, he was down with Pappy Mason and them. So I always looked up to him because he was always had these, this, all this money, you know, the jewelry, you know, the cars, the girls, and all that. So I always looked up to him, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. So it was a fascinating thing. Yeah. To see what you were seeing at that age. At a young age, yeah. Yeah. Right. He got me my first gold tooth and all that. So my brother really, he, he was the one that actually, you know, inspired me to. I ain't, I'm not going to say that he inspired me. I, I looked at him and I wanted to follow his his foot lead. You right. know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, I got introduced to the drug game at a young age. Mm, this is South Side though, right? Yeah, South this South is South all in, in Basley. No, Liberty. Liberty? Liberty. Right, right, right. So, you know, I started selling drugs like at the age of 12. Damn, 12? Yeah. Well, Shit. And you know, he was in too deep without LL, huh? Yeah. <laughs> shit. Yo, shit, <laughs> shit was real, man, because, you know, my brother got locked up and. You know, Mom Dukes was struggling. So, I, you know, since me looking at right. his footsteps, I was like, fuck it. I ain't gonna let Mom Dukes struggle. Right, you know right, right, so, right. That's all of, that's as us, as us being boys and becoming men, mm -hmm. that's not always focus to look out for Mama Bear. Pop Duke, yeah, you cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah what's yeah, up, yeah. Man, Take a beer. Take a pack of new ports, a pack of marbles, go sit the fuck down. But Mama yeah, Bear, she gonna Bear's, get this work. She's the backbone, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, Makes a lot of sense. But you have a twin, right? I have a twin sister. But you're not identical? Nah, we're fraternal. Oh, fraternal? Oh, Who old about the seconds? You or her? Oh, uh, she old about three seconds. Um, three minutes. Oh, so she the one that put the paws on you, though. Sit the fuck down. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> None of that? <laughs> None of that. She's more calm, quiet. And you the rug rat. I'm the one that's out there, man. You the rug <laughs> rat. <laughs> we ain't, we ain't getting into shit, huh? When you was young, yeah, huh, P.O.P.? <laughs> shit was crazy, man. Then, you know, when I moved up. Uh, pink houses. That's when that shit really got heated. That's when terror came. Oh my god! That's when I. That's when the other side came out of me. See, Menace. Queens is more laid back and, and sneaky, humble. You know what I'm saying? But when I went to pink houses, the first day I came out in pink houses, shit, I seen niggas get bodied in my face. Damn. What was that like? Like that shit was like a shocker. I never experienced no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And if you see Project Heat in the first episode, right. that's what really happened. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we just did a lot of reenacting of shit that happened to me and people that's not here to tell a story. So you think that Brooklyn changed you? Hell yeah. Well, it made you more physical or more of where, far as like how to accept a sucker nigga from a real nigga. Cause you know, you got two types, like a lot of people don't understand how Brooklyn is. Mm -hmm. We can, like Brooklyn niggas, we could die tech a sucker nigga before he even get in your face. Yeah, that's a fact. You see what I'm saying? But that, Queens is more of like, all right, we gonna accept calm. you because we own properties, nigga. Like, get it, like everybody yeah. got money in Queens. Right. <laughs> that was always the thought. Cause I used to be right, in Queens. You're right, right, yeah, Kazo? Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. So when you came to Brooklyn, it was like, ah, oh, shit. Let me put this gorilla on my black. It is what it is. Something happened. I'm putting the wild hands and feet on these niggas. And that shit happened, man. Like, real shit. And it's like, the, when I first went out there, they test you. Like, when you move it in the projects, and you move it from like a house to a project, right. you gotta, you gotta, like, you gotta observe the, the atmosphere first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me being a teenager moving in there, niggas tried me. But so mom you was like, what, 14? I was 17. 17, move to pink houses? 17. Oh, that's when, that's Yeah, when. that was kinda late to move in there. Right, right? Yeah. Late, late yeah. 80s. Yeah. That's when no, I'm saying really your fun. age. Like, if you was like maybe 12 just moving in there, then you would have grew up around yeah. that environment, the right. people. 17, right. you already, they thinking you coming from somewhere else already. Right. You know what I mean? That's so fact. that's why. So they going to test you when you at that age. You ain't from here, we never seen you, who you, right? Right. Yeah. Like, so then, once everybody began to find out who you was, Pop, so true. you just want structure time. Let me take over. It was, so, it was and how did they find out how you, who were you? I, Who you really want? Shit, shit happens. Like what? Like what <laughs> happens? What? Yeah. what? Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you, I've been shot twice. Mm -hmm. Once in my face and once in my neck. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? This shit, okay. it okay. really got hectic out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But being that you was the only male, because you got a twin. You have a brother, too. Yeah, I got two. But was your brother there with you when nah. that moved? So just you and sis? Yeah. Oh, so you really had to let, you, let your nuts hang. Yeah, no freaky. Right? Yeah. Mom Deuce, she, she was thorough. God bless her. You know what I'm saying? I had the whole, the whole fucking, them the whole pink houses wanted to fight me. Mom Dukes came down with a shotgun and cleared, cleared all the motherfuckers out. I gotta know why the whole pink houses wanted to fight you. <laughs> it was some shit. You remember the, remember the, um, the bombers? The bombers, the, like the, um, what you call them? The, uh, the NFL bombers right. back in the days. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So it was a, a, a basketball game in the center. Right. So niggas lined me up. I ain't gonna lie, they lined me up. They was like, yo, pop, go, yo, we'll take. Cause we was we was playing the basketball game with Brownsville. <laughs> right. And they had they had every flavor of fucking um NFL jackets. So they like, yo, pop, go get them shits and take them and put them on the roof of the um of your building. So you know, I'm I'm young. I'm trying to right, mingle right, in. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I took them, took them up to the um roof and shit. These niggas like, yo, son. They got the whole fucking, um, who was playing the basketball, they got them locked in the center. They ain't letting them out, you know, <laughs> until they, they coach get back and shit. So the nigga that told me to do it, he was like, yo, nah, Pop did that shit. Mm. And it was a nigga from the other side, mm. from my side. So, I mean, not my side, the other side, like um, seven and eight side. Right. So these niggas like, oh, Pop did that shit. So after they got the coach back, they let the niggas out. So. Them niggas that was locked in there, they was mad. Mm. So they came over there with the whole. So who told on you? The nigga that fucking the guy that told me told that um to go get this. I ain't gonna say the name and shit, but you hear this? Yeah. Look, niggas been telling back then. Look, yeah. See, That's it's crazy. Fact. It's crazy out here. So let me ask you another question. And I know throughout your course of time, you took a lot of money when you was in the game. Let me clarify this: when you was in the game. Yeah, back in the days and um. I was getting money in Monticello. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How was that like? Like, what was that like it when was, you was out there? It was, it was nice. It was nice? It was very nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I see it's a very, very, very nice. You got peachy motherfucking uh, cheeks right now, nigga. Fuck. But that's where I caught my first bid at, too. That's so. where you caught the fair bid? No, the um, state? I, state. I did two state bids and one federal. Question. Being that you did a state bid and the federal bid, right? What was first, the state bid? Yeah. When you went through the state, like, what was it like? Was it really physical? What? Less mental? 90% nah, physical, physical and 10% mental? Yeah. 
like what was type of some of the things like when you went up north like what was the first thing you had to do when you went up north because i know a lot of niggas be saying when you go up top first thing you want to grab is your grip your knife yeah nah but see if you know like if you know a lot of people you know what i'm saying and you bound to bump into somebody that knows you right and that knows how you give it up from the streets right you know what i'm saying and nine times out of ten that person been there for a minute before you got there so he's gonna put niggas on to right you know how you give it up you know what I'm saying? I ain't never. No, I had one fight when I first. The whole bid. Like the, yeah. This the first one. Yeah, the first bid. Nigga, right. nigga from out of town had to lump him up in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? I was still, in, I was, a, I was a teenager still running wild, man. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. So you had to let your nuts hang pretty oh much. My God, man, I bust that nigga. Y'all, y'all beat the nigga damn near to death, man. You know what I'm mm. saying? But you know, after that, you know, niggas see. You put that work in, then they're gonna respect you. Right, even right, more. right, right. So it's nothing like this generation now going up north. Oh, hell no. It's totally it's different. Totally right? different. Because I know, as far as like with state bids, because I did a state bid, I did five years up north, mm -hmm. right? And it's nothing compared to the feds. No, it ain't. You don't know who rats in the state. No. Because in the state, there's no paperwork no. besides trial paperwork. No. You, you, you cop out, that's, that's it. it. Get the fuck on. Fact. You don't you you don't have your uh your rights to appeal. You don't have your rights to nothing. Nothing. But within the federal, you gotta see all that paperwork. You get to see all that paperwork. That's, That's another thing I wanted to ask you. I'm for sure you did a Fed bid. Yeah. Like, what was that like? Far as you what? going in the Feds and like how that became you going into the Feds and when you found out you was going to the Feds, what was your feeling? All right. So back in 2000 2001, I was doing security for um Ja Rule and them. Right, when he first popped. That was through my man Cadillac Ty, because me and Cadillac Ty, we grew up together. Right. So, I'm waiting, but I think somebody told on me, because they knew I had, I always carried a vest and, and a gun. Right. In pink houses, so, I think somebody told on me. But did somebody I, call you, Pop, and tell you, yo, son, come meet me over here? No, actually, uh, we was, me and Cadillac Ty was coming to pick me up so we could go to the studio. He was right. doing a recording. So, I'm standing there with one of my mans and shit, and the police came straight to me like, "What you got on you?" So, you know, I, I, I'm taking, I'm taking flight, but they caught me, and while I'm getting arrested, Cadillac tires rolling up, seeing me getting arrested. Right. So, I'm thinking I was going to the state because that's, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Nah, he's like, we gonna all all you, but the boys is right here waiting to take you. So the DA, actually. Took my um, took hand them, my, hand my case took your case to, to the feds. Asked yeah. them, do they want this case? They swapped out. Yeah, that's only because I had a prior, I had a um, prior conviction of a gun charge. So it was like another gun charge automatically turned over right. to the states. Was that your second time you going up north? No, that was my third time. Yeah, I'm talking about you was you was up north. You went yeah. to the state twice. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the first one, then the second, second one. First so second which one? The guns. second one was the guns. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. So this your third time with a gun. Yeah. Oh yeah, you federally, baby. Yeah. You federally. So what? Like, that's I, that's what that I mean, mean, you have to get caught with a gun three times. Once you get caught with it once, and the second time you get caught with, with it, the yeah. feds they can choose by taking the case if they if they want yeah. it or if they feel like they want it, mm -hmm. but they can they can reject it because nine out of ten for order the feds to come get you. The DA from the state prosecutors have to inform them if they want that file. So if they, if they don't inform them what that file, he'd have been in the state. And I would have been doing more time. More time. Mm. Now, how much time you did when you went to the feds? Three. Three? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. What spots you was in? I was in four dicks, and then I came back down to um, MDC Cadre. Oh, so you was with you, oh, you was with the you was with the money people. Yeah, that's where. Mm. They say the motherfuckers down in them camps in, in the cadre, them motherfuckers don't check no paperwork, all they check is they money. Nah, and they camp. You, when, you, when you make it to cadre, you, you got outside clearance, so yeah. you ain't worried about that. You know you going home. Facts, facts, you know facts. Home. So it's like... Yeah, y'all go outside. Yeah. So you ain't never had no problems when you went to the feds? I don't like, know, man. Everybody on the same time? Everybody what? Just get a dollar time. or two and get the fuck on? That's it. That's it? it Nobody never checked your paperwork? I, I'm, a, I'm my own co-defendant. I know that, but still, you know your own co-defendant. No, yeah, like, nobody you never... Check my shit. No, when I'm know. saying not check it as far as, like, or oh, acting like you know God, yeah. just the reference far as, like, you want to talk to a motherfucker. Nah, I'm, I'm you see how, like, me and you talking now? Yeah. And if I wanted to get to you, because I'm, you know, like, 
when I was in the feds, if a motherfucker wanted See, to get next to this, me, you, you, you got to bring me your paperwork and I'm going to bring you mine so we can get an understanding, a neutral mm -hmm. understanding, who the fuck we are before we even start talking about anything, any, any motherfucker. It wasn't like that when I was in there. I was in there since 2002. I came in 2004. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. back then, it, people was on paperwork, but not... Especially in for dicks. Right. Then that's every, a low. Yeah, that's a low. So niggas is like, they doing their time and they going home. Well, that's just the New York homie eye or New York homie pulled in. Yeah. Said but you still had me. niggas, you know what I'm saying? It was like, yo, son, watch him because he ain't, he ain't right. And I'm like, yo, all right, that's on him. You know what I'm saying? Right, I, ain't right, gotta, right. I ain't gotta communicate with that nigga. I'm going home. You know fact, fact. Besides, you met him at the water fountain anyway. That's a fact. So... Right. But you know, it was different back then with the paperwork. But now, yeah, that that shit is that shit vicious. You, you got you gotta show your paperwork. Well, hell yeah, that shit vicious. Okay. Like when I say vicious, like vi boy, like some people they like it's to a point now the CEOs actually when you get off the bus when you go inside and be like, listen, you got your paperwork, this shit straight. Because if not, I can't put you on the compound. Oh, that's how it is right now. Because nah, it's probably like dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah. They telling that right now. The medium's on up. They telling you right now. If you don't have your paperwork, please let me know so I can be address you accordingly to where I need to pitch you at. Mm. And nine out of ten, you know, once the dude put his head down, you know what that means. Mm. He ain't gonna tell you verbally because we all sitting in the pen. And boy, like, hold on, you already made struck conversation where you from, where you at. So now the police actually ain't put his head down, boy. Yeah, you know good. Yeah. So now when you get to the compound, whoever called you was in or whatever city you from. That's son, where crazy. you from? Oh, from Brooklyn. Yo, so my man posted K and such and such. They be like, nah, boy, that nigga made the left turn. You know, left wow. turn's going to the box. That's how it is now. That's, that's crazy. But a lot of people don't know, like you said, Pop, and the feds, it's like really all mental. And you gotta have people that's gonna vibe with you. Support system. Yes, that's you fact. need you need that. But when you went, they were sending motherfuckers across the world. Yeah. At that is. era. Now they don't do it. Oh no, they don't really. They gotta know? keep you no. in your region. Yeah. Uh, Enough according. for your family, wherever you live. Right. So that they could come see you. Oh wow. Yeah. Right, right. Like now, they don't do it no more to see you across the world because uh, a lot of lawsuits drop, a lot of people die. So now they keep you in, in this region where you're from. But the disciplinary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but your disciplinary could send you all over the world. That's what I was going to say. Because right. your disciplinary, they send you to the fucking moon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you wilding. They, nah, take your ass over there now. You want to play, we're going to give you that airplane you gonna, lift. You're going to be in there with them, with, with them warriors. Yeah, you going to Oklahoma and all that. They're going to sit you there for a month or two, then pitch you back on the plane, make another pit stop. Leave you there for another month, put you back on the plane. Yeah, but um, they oh, yeah. still put you on the plane just yeah. to take you to PA. Yeah. You know, just to take you to Harrisburg. Yeah, it's a fact. Right. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go to Harrisburg. Connecticut. You got totally different from when I was going through that shit, son. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I tell a lot of a lot of young generation pop, like, dude, the the the, the path y'all going down, it ain't worth it playing with them hammers. Hell. Now don't get me wrong, I love I love my young boys. You know, swipe life, whatever they doing, I command them. Because, like, when I was their age, old head can't tell me nothing. No disrespect to the old head sucking dick, nigga. And I got four other brothers. What? What we doing? See, but now these mother Especially growing up in Brownsville. These mother, this new, this new, like, the new generation, son, they don't think at all. Do you think you oh. changed? Hell, do I, do I think I changed? Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you see I got my own business now? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about that shit No, but you then. know... You oh, know you wasn't saying? thinking about oh. what made you transfer over, Pop, into legitimate corporate life? I can say when my mom, my mom's passed, mm. and I, I came home, she wasn't there no more, and I'm like, shit, because yeah. she, she was like my backbone, and um, you know, I slipped up one more time, but after the feds, I was like. Nah, I'm good. I had a taste of both sides. Thank you. Mm. I know that feeling because I lost my pops two weeks before I came home from the feds. Wow. Two weeks, pop bear passed away. My mom was kept saying, boy, he waiting on you. I'm like, mom, tell him to hold on. I'm there. Mm. Short shot called back. My mom's like, son, listen. Papa Bear say he love you. And you know, he see you when he see you. So wow. me coming home two weeks after Pop do pass, it's like everybody, you know, for the family, like what the boy is on. Mm -hmm. Like, what's his plan? What's his blueprint? Like, you, Pop, like, I'm always gonna be, no disrespect, a street nigga, but I ain't in the streets. Mm -hmm. You know how to move now. Facts. So, like, 
Like I tell a lot of dudes when I went to the feds, it made me more dangerous than I already was, but in a smart way. Mm. I can die tech a sucker nigga, I can die tech a rat nigga, I can die tech a nigga that's trying to line me up. Mm-hmm. I can die tech a nigga that's wanna be around me just cause who I am and what I can do and, and, and where I stand at. Mm-hmm. So now I un- like I really understand your pain. So like even I tell a lot of people like, boy, you don't know what I went through or what I'm going through. They, Cause they look at the outside like, boy, you still like you ain't even go to jail, love. Fuck you, man, I ain't go to jail. That's a fact. But like I tell a lot of people, yeah, I was incarcerated, but my brain wasn't. I'm physically in jail, but my mental is still in the town, still mm-hmm. in the street. Mm-hmm. And it goes back to like you said, having that support system. That's right. That support system holds a lot of weight. A whole lot of weight. And if you ain't got that, you could get lost in that motherfucker. Facts, because a lot of dudes that came home throughout this bed I was with, they all fucked up. I'm like, yo, mm-hmm. dude, like, how the fuck you come home and the government is giving you everything you need? I but instead of you running with it and taking it and putting it to your right. adjusted and into what you like and run with it, there's no way in the world you can lose. There's no way in the world. You and then you got lose. niggas that no, not to cut you off. Then you got like I tell, like I told my man, you got the the older dudes that's in position that's blocking the gate. And they don't want to spread love. How you blocking the gate? Yeah. Open the gate up. That's why I do, you know. I do the loot, you know, giving giving back to the community. I do all that shit, son. Like, yeah, I see you be at Wilkins Park. Tom, I see you mm-hmm. be anywhere giving it out. You know, doing what you do with your I, team I, and all I, that. I That's a beautiful thing. I love to help people that need it. You know what I'm saying? Well, shit, I'm fucked up. I need some. I need some help. Fuck, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked up for real, shit. Man, <laughs> no bullshit. You, know, you, 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 you fuck these listen, cameras, nigga. Listen. Fuck, listen. <laughs> help me, nigga. What the fuck. Help me so I can yeah. help the next person. Listen, bro, you know you cause oh, you know, you know. Man. Fuck shit, man. I just I'm just glad, you know, I'm able to stay in here and be with you, POP. Like you opened up the doors for me, my nigga. You know me and you before this shit we've been rocking. Before you, I'm catching you, you bat caving and <laughs> sliming and you know, doing what you do in Queens. We over here everywhere I go, cuz oh, this motherfucker there. I can't <laughs> like if we don't even call each other when we beat there, cuz oh. How the fuck this nigga we do? Yeah. Cuz oh this Oh, girl, yo, cut. oh yeah, we family. That's right. We family. Yeah, yeah, we all together. <laughs> That's right, son. But I'm just proud of you, man. You're doing your thing, man. You're successful. You got the nice crew, man. You, Shy Shy, KD, yeah. Toya. Yeah. Man, that's dope, man. That's yeah, dope. We just opened this, you know, the you know, film studio. And um, we just gonna make this shit happen, man. You know? So all you young boys that need a job, find POP. Yeah, I'm he ain't nice legally one. blind either. <laughs> <laughs> Find P.O.P. He got jobs for the community, man, for the young boys, man. He's doing his thing out here in New York City, man, and not the other cities too, man. Yeah. So at the end of the day, P.O.P., like, let me ask you a question. When you was in pink houses, I'm for sure you was there when a young boy, the little kid got killed, stabbed okay. in the elevator. Prince oh, is his oh. father. Yeah, yeah, that happened in Boulevard. The Boulevard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was out. I was out. Cause I was locked up with the kid's father. He was in on the fence with me. Oh, he was yeah. in um school kid with me and, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, that you was... know, I used to chop it up with him, and he used to tell me like, "Yo, boy, it's like Vietnam and pink houses. Yo, like one side can't go to the other side." That's a fact. And... Yeah, I mean, you watch Project Heat. That's real shit. Yeah. Like when I first went out there, I had beef with the Hollywood side, and I'm new Jack. I'm a new nigga, right. so. I'm young. I'm the only only boy that was out there at that time. You know, I wasn't trying to hear none of that shit, son. Right, right. You know that's dope saying? that you came up out of all that, man. Yeah, it is. Some that's people super don't come dope. out of it. Yeah, because there's a lot of motherfuckers that's that I seen that died, man. That shit just it just I don't understand like how these motherfuckers could just take a life away. Right. And don't feel no remorse, cause these, these yo son, it's real, it's real out there, son. But it's your time though, pop. Yeah. It's your time. Like I just tell dudes, like you know, everybody know, like Timbo King. Yeah, we know Timbo King is one of the first affiliates from the Woo. Then you got me and Pop with Smooth the Hustler, MOP. Mm-hmm. You know, all big and all of them. So they all used to be like, yo, love, yo, how you ain't rich? How you ain't a millionaire? And I used to tell a lot of them niggas, man, cause I ain't sell my soul. 
No disrespect, and I ain't no freak. I ain't never sucked dick to get to the top. That's a fact. So at the end of the, di- at the end of the day, whatever desire to come your way is gonna come. That's universal law. They owe you this. That's a fact. Man. So now, like, don't get me wrong. The the, the fight ain't over. It gets greater later. You know what I mean? I'm so understood. more blessings gonna come. That's Extra. Right. right. And that's why I'm just God want me here for a purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have been off this earth. Right. The first two times I got shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he want me here for a purpose. Right. 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 And he's blessing me with everything that he's blessing me with. And like you said, it's more to come.